Hotep Cancer. My love, welcome to your lovers of this reading for the month of October 2021. Cancer. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, love. Those of you who are new to my channel, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Okay, last shuffle. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Okay, Cancer. So, let's see. Oh, okay. Your Moonology message is time to breathe out. This is a decimating moon, okay? That's a decimating moon. When you look at that moon, you can see that it is like scattered. Its light is like scattered all about. Okay, so it's like, uh, it's a decimating moon because it covers up all that's around it. Okay, so it's like something that's going on with you where you need to go ahead and breathe out. Like you're about to do something. You're about to make a certain move. And it's like, it's hard for you to breathe. And... <clears throat> All you need to do is just go ahead and breathe out, Cancer. Okay? Just, you know, breathe. This is the uh, Modern Love Tarot, so I'm going to get you a few more messages. Okay, get you three shuffles. <clears throat> Something that is going on that you're about to go ahead and bust a move. You're about to go ahead and step on the scene in somebody's life. Or has somebody stepped on the scene in your life in this lover's abyss? And now it's like, you know, you don't even know what to do because you in the lover's abyss, baby. We got the two cards here for you, okay? Love, you have the uh, page of swords first. This tells me that somebody has been watching the other person, okay? Or somebody is about to make a move, but they're, they have been watching, spying, lurking on somebody. And maybe watching somebody on social media. They may be, uh, you know, like, you know, you may have a, a, a social media page like Instagram, Facebook, you know, um, uh, YouTube, okay, and this person is just watching you and spying on you and, and stalking your YouTube page, your Instagram page, your Facebook, everything, or this person could actually be where you are, you're close to your home, close to your, your job, okay, but it's like they have to breathe out because they have a lot of indecision, all right, they don't want this to be the two of swords when they step on the scene that, you know, people are still in their feelings, People are still in their feelings about the things that have happened or transpired between you two and that, you know, uh, you don't want to be sitting there with your feelings hurt, okay, just looking away from the other person and not paying attention to the one that you love, all right? You want to be cuddled up, turned towards each other very passionately, kissing and, you know what I'm saying, making all kinds of passionate love to each other. That's what you want. That's what you want. Here's the tarot of sexual magic. We want you want some sexual magic. You want to be uh, all up in between somebody's legs, giving them oral sex. You know you love oral sex, Cancer, <laughs> and you love receiving it too, right? So it's like that's what you would rather be in this bed right here. You'd rather be, uh, you know, just looking at this person. I mean, if you're going to be on your phone, at least you can look at pictures of this person being naked. But I mean, if they ain't going to be doing anything uh, with you, they could at least be showing you the booty, or you could be looking at pictures where they showed you the booty, baby, right? Let's go ahead and get that. Um, Take time to breathe out for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay, we got too many cards, cancer. You threw out five cards at me. I just need one or two cards, okay, love? Give me one or two cards, cancer. Why you need to breathe out? <clears throat> Ooh, hermit. You think they got somebody else or they think you got somebody else? You know, you don't want to go to where somebody is and see that this person has another lover right up here, okay? That they are all booty butt naked. Can you see that good, Cancer? All booty butt naked and all into each other. Somebody rubbing on your baby's booty all up on their back. What in the hell? Maybe that's the reason why you got to breathe out because you wanted to bring something with you. You wanted to, uh, you know, respark something or somebody wanted to do this with you, Cancer. And they see you laying there rubbing all over somebody else's body. They see uh, you laying there having somebody rubbing all over you, both of y'all booty butt naked. 
Okay, come on, Cancer. They okay, we got the spine card here, love. We got the spine card here. Oh, this person came with a romantic gesture, knight of chalices, and saw you with somebody else, Cancer. Or it could be something that is going to happen in the future. Now, they could be watching you to see if you're by yourself. And if you are alone, then they're going to come in with a romantic gesture to be an intimate friend at first, okay? Somebody very close to you. Somebody very, you know, intimate with you. Somebody who you can share your secrets with, okay? Okay, this indecision. Let's go with this indecision. What are we talking about? Ooh, what did I tell you, Cancer? Look, baby. Instead of the daggone two of swords where y'all in the bed looking at the phones or not paying no daggone attention to each other, this is what you want. You want the two of cups, baby. You want that daggone shirt off, okay? You want them clothes off in this bed, all right? You want them off in this daggone bed. That's what you're scared of. What's the person scared of? That, you know, y'all will not be close like this. Y'all will not be kissing each other. See, you're kissing him. You'd rather be kissing this person. That person rather be kissing you, holding your hand right here. You see, you're holding your hand. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like this person uh, just wants to be making love to you. Look like they may want to take you out somewhere, like maybe for a picnic, a place where it's just you and them. You know, it's like, this, and it's like, you know, instead, like I said, instead of the two of swords, you want the two of wands, baby. You want the two of wands. And it's like, you know, it's hard for you because, <clears throat> or it's hard for this person because they need to go ahead and just breathe out. They need to breathe so that they can go ahead and step on the scene in your life, Cancer. If they're unable to step on the scene in your life, then you're not going to know that this person wants to be intimate with you. They want to start off as an intimate friend. You don't know if they, you know, that they want the two of cups with you. That they feel that you deserve love, Cancer. You deserve love and to be loved, baby. Now, who are we talking about here? <clears throat> Who are we talking about here that you and the lovers of this with? Somebody talking about you deserve to be loved. We got first Sagittarius. Okay? That's a Sag A. Got their bow straight at you. They got it pointing straight at you, Cancer. It's like they got to uh, calm down first before they shoot the arrow. They're not trying to kill you with passion. We got Pluto right here. This is Scorpio. Okay? Pluto, Scorpio stepping on the scene. They're trying to definitely be strategic because Scorpio will be a god and goddess of war too, okay? Not just a god and goddess of sex. Here we go. <clears throat> like I said, it's a water energy. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, this person wants to, you know, <clears throat> be in your life, Cancer. Okay, you got Mars right here. This is Scorpio again. Scorpio, uh, stepping on the scene three times. So, Scorpio Aries. Let's see what else we got, baby. <laughs> Scorpio can't take over the whole reading. We got to see what other reading. I know y'all cancers are dealing with somebody else. A Scorpio. <laughs> okay, cancer, I got you, baby. I got you. You dealing with Scorpio? I got you. Let me see. Anybody else you dealing with cancer? Anybody, oh, are you dealing with another cancer or is that you stepping on the scene? Like, baby, I'm dealing with another daggone water sign, okay? That's who I'm dealing with, cancer. And it's like, or somebody's being very emotional. Here's Pisces right here. Wow, there's water all over us. I'm just going to bring you one more card, cancer. One more card to see if I can get you another sign, baby. Okay, we got another sign stepping on the scene, three of them. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> okay, so it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it's like Aries and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is the only other water energy that's not here. But you're definitely dealing with a, a air, a Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, man, Scorpio's like me. I'm all in this. Okay, what does this Scorpio want to say to you? This, uh, this Aries or this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we got a blank card. Let's see if they got anything to say. You know, trying to come in as an intimate friend. Been spying and stalking. Been lurking and whatnot. Trying and being a hermit. Seeing if you got anybody else. They can come in and start kissing on them lips. And start rubbing all over that body. They want to be all up and down your body, cancer. Okay? Oh, they love what your breast looks like. They love what your nipples look like. That's the reason why they got them out here, love. Let's go see what this Scorpio 
uh, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is going to try to say to Cancer, love, they're saying that their heart is not made of stone, Cancer. Okay? That this is what they're coming in with an intimate offer, first trying to be your friend. Saying that my heart is not made of stone. I love you. I miss you. Okay? I miss you, Cancer. I miss you. You know? My heart is not made of stone, baby. What we got down here? Look, look. Blank card. This blank card is a person at a loss. Like, I can't believe you think that my heart can be made of something like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody like, listen, I'm so in love. It's like we got so much water energy here. It's like it's unreal. It's unreal the amount of emotion that is uh, that is being displayed here in this reading, okay? Now we got this. If you love me, then why can't we make love over and over again? You know, please give me another chance to love you. It's like they want you to give them another chance. Cancer. <clears throat> they want you to give them another chance to love you. They want you to give them another chance to make love to you. They want you to give them another chance to be in your life the way you need them to be. In your life, baby. All right, now here we got the dad going. Come back. I need you, baby. Okay? So I said the baby because the baby please was here. Okay? Listen, was I strong enough to make you feel me deep inside you, energetically wiser, when we made love? When we made love, because it could be that you two made love already, you already were there. Next thing you know, it's like this right now. It's like, wait a minute, how I going to get like that, Cancer? It can't get like that. It can't get like that, Cancer. Not with you. Not with you, baby. Listen, you be like, look, I'm on fire. So take it slowly, but take it now. Don't you sit up here and look at somebody else on the phone or call somebody else on the phone? You know what I'm saying? Turn around and make love to me. Falling for you was a mistake. I'm so broken now. Somebody is so broken now in their, in their feelings and all emotional and whatnot. And it's like, man, <clears throat> cancer. They need to just go ahead and breathe out and make the move, baby. Because coming towards you is the only thing that's going to help this person feel better. Look, like they got to have you. They want to hear you moan their name, okay? They want to hear you moan, ah, uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, I want to moan, Scorpio. You know, it's got to be that. It's got to be Scorpio 100%, okay? A Pisces came out twice, a Cancer came out twice, okay? Sagittarius only came out once, Aries once, Aquarius once, Libra, Gemini once, okay? So it's strongly can't, uh, uh, this Scorpio that wants you. I want you. <laughs> Look, I want you, Cancer. I don't want to be alone tonight. Cancer, they don't want to be alone tonight. They want to be there in the bed with you, baby. Yes, with you. Let me get you one more card, Cancer. <clears throat> yeah, they want to be in the bed with you, baby. Like, uh, whew, they miss making love to you, Cancer. No one knows how to touch me like you do. So it's like, it's like so much going on here with them, with them coming with some intimate offer. This person been watching you. I'm thinking that the reason why they need to breathe out is because you got this whole little boy or little girl inside of them, unable for, unable for them to go ahead and speak out and speak their mind because that little child is afraid of rejection. But you got to tell that little child that as an adult, everybody can't be with you. Even as a child, you didn't play with all the kids. You only played with the kids that were for you, for your friends. So it's like you can't sit up there and be like feeling, you know, uh, scared because your heart is not made of stone because you love cancer. I'm talking to the cross watcher and you want them back and you begging them, begging them, asking them, are you strong enough, how broken you are? You know, you have to go ahead and be strong enough and brave enough to step up and be what it is that you need to be for cancer. If you want cancer to show up for you, you're going to have to show up for cancer, cross-watching. And if it says vice versa, cancer, it's the same thing. <clears throat> anyway, my darling, that has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then please hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know that we'll be uploading new messages for you, cancer. And if this didn't resonate with you, then don't you worry about that love, because I... Like I said, I'm doing cancers now. You know, I wasn't doing cancers in the past because uh, 
Uh, I have my own personal reasons, but um, <clears throat> I'm doing them now. So I I'll get you next time, Cancer. Okay. Uh, if you want a personal reading or if you want to donate to the channel, then the way to, to do all of that will be in the description box below, love, okay? And so until next time, my darling, peace, love you, and light. Hold up, cancer.